and a former Facebook employee blew the whistle on the tech giant regarding its handling of misinformation. The whistleblower now says she's willing to testify before Congress. Here's NTD's David Lamb with the details. Former Facebook employee Sophie Zhang went public with her criticisms of the company back in April 2021. She told CNN in an interview that she's willing to testify before Congress. Zhang worked as a data scientist, but Facebook fired her in 2020. She criticized the tech giant for not doing enough to tackle hate and misinformation, particularly in small developing countries. And the fact that multiple national governments and presidents felt the need to exploit Facebook on vast scales to, to manipulate their own citizenry without even trying to hide, hide that speaks volumes about how important they believed it to be, how important this it actually is. In a Twitter post on Monday, Zhang wrote, If Congress wishes for me to testify, I will fulfill my civic duty, as I've publicly stated for the past half year. She also said she provided detailed documentation regarding potential criminal violations to a U.S. law enforcement agency, though she did not specify which agency. When Zhang blew the whistle last year, Facebook executive Guy Rosen wrote on Twitter claiming that Zhang's allegations are about fake likes. They briefed him on this matter and he knew perfectly well that it was not fake, just fake likes. In fact, Facebook did two thorough investigations and takedowns that received media attention based on my work. Speaking to CNN, Zhang said Facebook told her that she was fired for poor performance. Before leaving the company, she published a memo on her personal website detailing how she personally made decisions to influence world politics as part of her job. However, her website, along with the memo, was subsequently shut down. Zhang declined Facebook's $64,000 offer for a non-disparagement agreement. Zhang is the second Facebook whistleblower. The first was Francis Haugen, who testified before Congress on October 5th. Haugen spoke about children's safety on Facebook and Instagram. David Lamb, NTD News, California.